Welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. We base our reviews on a 25-point scale, 5 for the smell, 10 for the taste, 5 for the finish, and a combined 5 for the bottle and look of the juice. sample time and kind of a side-by-side -side because I've been craving a dram of this. Oh, okay. So on my side, we have Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered Batch 32, which was a bottle Michael sent us a few months ago. <laughs> the plastic cap it's stayed little, in there. It wouldn't a little work. dasher out of there. A few months ago, uh, I enjoyed it. I rated it fairly well when you blinded me on it. Yeah. And the longer I sat with the bottle, the more I liked it. I don't remember my notes. I remember it being buttery and soda-y. Mm. Let's see how they do getting... They used to put out a batch every now and then, and then they just started cranking up Ooh. the batches. Their popularity has skyrocketed. They are sourced. I don't know if they're putting down their own juice. They're MGP sourced with their 36% rye mash bill. That's high rye. So yeah, there's 60% corn, 36% rye, and 4% malted barley. That's, so that's pretty steep. It's an interesting mash bill, and I'm I'm here for it. You're here for I it. I love it. So I have this is from the bottle that Michael sent us. This is batch 44, which is a different bottle. That a Michael also sent us Michael. a sample of. So you want to show a picture of the bottle real quick? Sure. So this bottle is what 60, 65 bucks. Around which there. I think is a hell of a deal. I really like the bottle. It has like the cute little wildflowers on it, and it's very western. It's engraved, and it has. It's just it's a it's a dark bottle, which mm. I'm not a huge fan of because I don't like hiding the juice, but. You can see they're not hiding that much because no. it looks good, but it's interesting. Very interesting. So this is batch 44? 44. So I saw on Instagram that he is blending and tasting through for batch 70 right now. So they are really going they're through They're pushing it. Golly. Um, go follow them on Instagram because I don't know if he's the he's, owner or the founder. He's hilarious. <laughs> he's a who. He'll just go back walking around barrels. Mm -hmm. Barrels. He cracks me up. Sitting there with a big old fat stogie smoking. <laughs> he's awful colorful. <laughs> yeah, he's a he's a colorful character, but he's fun. He's I really enjoy watching him. Whenever I'm bored and I'm scrolling on Instagram or something, mm -hmm. I always stop on his stuff because it's funny. It's I don't even funny care what he's talking about. It cracks me up. <laughs> I know. All oh, right. This is like buttery and you got like a soda, cream soda, maybe like a rock and rye. You're rock and rye. Mm-hmm. Well, it is high rye. Maybe a little orange honey. I, the newer one actually looks darker. Darker, yeah. Mm. Okay, so these are pretty similar. Yeah, they do have a lot of similarities. A lot of similarity. That one seems to be more potent, though. Yeah, a little bit stronger floral, maybe alcohol tingle. A little less sweet. I actually smell a little bit more wood, like yeah, dry, charred. That's what I was going to say. I smell the wood more on that one than I do on this one. This one is nice and sweet. So I did see that it's rumored to be like a blend of four to eight year barrels, which is pretty cool. Um, I know they spend a lot of money to get those because MGP is the king of sourcing whiskey. One of his posts on Instagram said, I wasn't there to receive the shipment of our seven, eight, and nine year, but they're definitely going to sit through the summer and mellow a little more or something along that line. I so, don't quote me on that. I but. do know with MGP, they, they do so many other brands, but for a brand like this, the popularity, yeah, um, the, I don't know if they're putting down their own juice, but they seem to be very loyal to MGP, very open about yeah. everything. So I just see MGP supplying them with whatever they can before almost anyone else. They have a big public presence. I mean, why wouldn't MGP want to give them more? 
So I don't know which one I like on the nose better. They're both very good. I like that one. It's got some more unique notes. I can't really... This one doesn't smell like rock and rye. It's kind of like a not so sweet cola. I don't like... Maybe even like Pepsi. Pepsi sweet. Yeah, but it's not sweet like Coke or Fago or RC. Uh, maybe RC. RC. RC's not that sweet. Mm. Ooh. That is flavorful. That is definitely high rye. That just prickled my whole tongue with some black pepper. My whole tongue's covered. Maybe even like a jalapeno pepperiness. That's spicy. I don't remember this one being that spicy. That one's not that spicy. Uh, what proof is the uh, batch 44? I don't know. You took my bottle away. That's not batch 44. 57.45 ABV. I don't think this one was that far off. I don't think so. I'll probably put a note somewhere. Here. Mm. Here. Snap. Okay, so my thoughts. Taste-wise, I'm giving it to this one, too. I like the smell and I like the taste of batch 44. This one, mm. it reminds me of a jalapeno blackberry jam. Ooh, you just made my tongue gurgle. <laughs> That sounds delicious. That's what that reminds me of. It's like an oaky, blackberry, like black raspberry, jalapeno. We're like making that, that this year. That faint, subtle. I know it probably sounds weird to mm. some of you, but we're a big fan of like the, the jalapeno cherry jalapeno and jams and stuff like so that. It goes so well together. It, it really does meddle together very well. But that's what the, I just got a mouthful of it. I don't know. There's a, a candy sweetness on both of these that yeah. really remind me of like rock candy. So that one reminds me of Fago Red Pop. And I was thinking rock and rye, but. Slightly like if I was drinking Fago Red Pop and eating buttered rye toast. Mm -hmm. That one is a lot smoother and buttery and has more of a pronounced rye flavor. You know, with that sweetness behind it. If you were to blind me on that, I could almost mistaken batch 44 as a rye whiskey. Yeah. That's got such a That's spice to it. That's got a nice it. spice to it. It's got a nice prickle and that, that proof is spot on. Like mm -hmm. he's, he's blending pretty well over there. Mm -hmm. So as I said, they're going on batch 70 soon. Um, this is 12 batches apart and I do not see any quality difference. No. There are some flavor differences, but... As far, I mean, for the most part, they're pretty close. They're pretty spot yeah. on to each other. They're they're very, very similar, but they have their own unique characteristics. So I, I really wish they Michael sold Michael sent us a uh, couple samples of like small badge and something else from them. I don't know yeah. what it is. We'll have to do a video of that soon too. Yeah. This is fun. I would, oh, man, I wish they sold it here. We're going to have to pick it up when we see it because. Yeah. Man. I would probably clear the shelves on that bottle. I know. Those are good. I can't drink anymore because my face is getting hot. I, I will it. finish these tonight. <laughs> I don't work tomorrow. John's going to enjoy them. He's, he's going to sit Only down. Only reason why I did this video. <laughs> <laughs> Any other thoughts? Anything else? Nope. Well, I mean, there you have it, guys. If you see Smoke Wagon, highly recommend. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.